that. Sorry. There you go. Uh, no, what did it usually get so, read? I'm paraphrasing it. Per the governor's order, this meeting is being held virtually. It will be recorded and available to the public, and people can call in if they would like. And the number was posted, the number to call in was posted on the agenda. You okay. go, Cindy. That was awesome. <laughs> I think I've heard it for a couple of years now. So, all right. So um, we have a quorum. I can see Dan, um, Jim, Tara, Mary, Pam, myself. And then I know that Jenna is coming. So with a quorum, we can proceed with the approval of the minutes. Mary, I love the minutes had, had like pictures in them and charts and uh, they were terrific. Thank you so much. Good. Anyone have issues with the minutes from last month? All good. Okay, does someone want to make a motion to approve the minutes as submitted? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Dan. I'll second it. I'll second it. Okay, Jim Woodworth second. So Dan made the motion and Jim seconded. All those in favor, just raising your hands. And Jim, is your hand and Tara, your hands are up, right? Yes, hands are up. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, first open issue of business is to welcome Bonnie. Um, she is the interim town manager and she has taken over uh, this committee uh, cheerfully, willfully. She called me today. You to got it. That's get, right. <laughs> to get some info on it. Bonnie, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Bonnie Therry and I've had over 30 years experience in local government, including the lovely town of Wethersfield. I was here uh, for probably oh, six years or so and I left in 2012. Um, and I used to live um, on Collier, so I know Keisha Farms very well, the area and all that. Um, so yes, I am here until they find a permanent manager. Uh, and I look forward to working with you however I can to try to get a purpose for the Keisha Farms and let's get this baby going. All right, well, I did not realize you lived on Collier. That is a big advantage yes. to this committee. I used to live on the other end. Okay, well, thank you very much. We're gonna start out, Bonnie, I wanna introduce to you two members of the University of Hartford team. Um, if you look back in the minutes, Mary put the whole uh, graphic of the, this semester's team up in the, um, in the minutes from September. And so this is Kim Lee, and she's on the left of me on the screen. She's a graphic designer. And Esteban Molina, who is, has an incredible title. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, but he is not only incredibly good with statistics and digital um, analysis, but he is the person that's responsible for the survey, which I hope you all got to see and take a look at. So Esteban first, and then Kim, your plan for the, um, the poster and the QR code. Thank you guys. Well, I, I, I said to Cindy, I am so thrilled that you guys are involved because I've worked with college students before and you guys have such energy, energy and such creativity that I know you're gonna be able to uh, help us a lot. And U of H, my husband's an alumnus and it's a great school. So we're thrilled to have you. Another big plus. All right, take it away. Okay, um, I'll go first. Um, just to quickly introduce myself to Bonnie. I'm Esteban, a senior at the University of Hartford, majoring in business data analytics and manager economics. Um, so I'm here on behalf of Alex, who couldn't make it because he had class. Um, first, we want to start off to thank the committee to re of reviewing the survey that was sent out this past weekend. It was really helpful, all your suggestions. Um, moving on, it's um, we took in the suggestion of Jim with um, the question, the two questions he pointed out and they are fixed. In terms of the rollout, we are ready to roll in terms of the flyers who are, that have been finalized with the dates and we're ready to go. What we are doing now is just um, continuing our research and economic development and that is our progress up to date. Um, again, like I stated, um, the survey was sent out initially to be reviewed and not answered. So what me and Alex agreed on was to ask Jim to retake the survey um, since he already took it once. We deleted his response, and now what we ask of him is to retake it in the finalized survey. But besides that, we, like I say it again, we are ready to go and everything's um, moving on perfectly. Thank you. Esteban, that's all electronic? Yeah, yes, so it's all electronic. Um, I believe Alec was supposed to be here to talk more about the website, but what we have now is um, 
we have QR codes, the website, and a link to the survey. It's live now and it's, it closes, we set it up to close at exactly October 31st at 11.59 p.m. And um, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Uh, oh, is, about how long do you think it would take a person to fill it in? So um, it tells you, the survey, when you log in, it tells you how much, how long it would take. Um, the survey itself, it um, automatically um, calculates itself how much it takes. It says on average five minutes. Oh, that's not um, good. It, yeah, it depends on the person, um, how deaf they take it and um, how fast they go. But on average, the survey says it should take around five minutes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, you put it too long, they won't do it. So, okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Do we know when we're going to roll it out or is that yes gonna... so it's ready to go now so as of right now it's live um oh. with the updated um suggestions from the committee with jim question nine which i would say right now was um regarding question nine the number of alternatives um we added all that apply since it wasn't there so right now we'll be updated saying all that apply and you can put multiple questions and with the last question where it was, um, we initially, like I said, we sent it out to be reviewed, not to be answered, which is why the last question, you were not able to click, um, click all that to apply. But now we reset the um, setting to now it being, like I said, finalized. It is finalized and it's live now. Um, um, so I, I've got a question. Um, one, I'm on the, I'm chair of the park board as well. But one of the uh, things that the park board brought up was they would very much like to see a link from the town website so we get more responses. We've talked about right. yes. So is that an option? Of um, course, yeah, that is an option. Um, we just need to communicate with the marketing team, Chaz and Alec, to implement that. Um, as of now, what I heard from Alex is the website is um, good to go to. So I just need to send the link or the QR code to the website for them to manually implement it to the website where um, residents can take it from there. Esteban, are you thinking about putting a link on the town of Weathersfield's website? I think that's what Dan was thinking. Am I right, oh, Dan? Yes, you are correct. Okay. Um, so as of right now, we would have to talk as a team to discuss that, but I believe it is possible. Microsoft Forms is the software we're using. And with that, it's it has three options, either a link to the, um, to the survey, which we can implement to the website, or a QR code. So um, honestly, we are able to do, we just have to, communicate with the town of Westfield for that. Since it's not our own website of the team, right. we'll right. have to ask them to do it for us. So All right, well, let me know when uh, that is and I'll work with Derek to get that done. Okay. If, if you wouldn't, if, if we could do something tomorrow, that would be great because I'd like people to be able to say that it went out to the public at the same time in, in all its formats, or at least as close as possible. Okay. And Bonnie, will it be possible to have paper copies available at the town hall for people who don't have access to computers or to technology? Well, uh, definitely we could. Um, I, we could do it even out of uh, this office. Okay, because that will be part of the um, communication. They will communicate that if you don't have access to a computer right. or you know use a QR code, then you will be able to pick up a paper copy and, and they'll be able to return it to you as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, great. All right. And just Bonnie, so you know, everything is going to be tabulated by the University of Hartford. So Excellent. this committee is not having any in, in, input or we're not even going to touch the forms really. It's Excellent. Almost Excellent. Right, to them. right. Okay. Okay. So Esteban, you need from us. You need, you're going to send us a link and you want us to push it out to all of the people that we know in our own personal address books? Yes. So like I said, it's ready to go. So I will send another link after this meeting. Um, it is the finalized version. It's free to go. We're now we're just waiting for the results to roll in. Okay. So, so Cindy, we, um, your committee, I mean, approved the survey because I have to admit, I haven't even seen it. So we did. And there's okay, some good. good. There's some good minutes that precede this. Um, we worked on it uh, for the June, July, August and approved it at the September meeting. Is that right, Pam? June, July, August, and then September meeting, we refined it and approved it. And Gary was involved in all of those meetings. So, and um, we're gonna send you a, uh, the link to the survey immediately so that you can take a look oh, at it. Oh, perfect, good, 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 okay. Okay. Is it gonna go on Facebook? as a link and mm -hmm. okay it will go on the Keisha farm committee facebook page it should go esteban it can go on instagram too right 
Yep, yep. So all those social networks we have available to us, the UR team, we are more than able to put it there. Right. And so what about that old fashioned way of a press release? We could try. I mean, I think that uh, there's, a, I think the rare reminder would cover it. That's, I think so too. And, um, you know, I know the current, the current doesn't bother, but um, who knows if the reminder might too, not the reminder, the uh, life. Life but is that, life. You know what though, that might be too late because you got to right. see the window. That's true. Right. Okay. All right. All right. And Bonnie, our plan was the month of August. So we're starting on October 4th and we're going to go for the full month. Uh, sorry, month of October. Okay. Great. August. So this month. Okay. Okay. So Kim, do you want to show us the final um, poster? And we're going to use this as uh, part of our, our rollout. But uh, yeah, I am just a moment. Um, can I share screen? I haven't yeah. tested it out yet. Hey, hey. Uh oh, what happened? All of a sudden, there's no sound. Hello? No, I, I, th oh. I think she's just trying to share a screen. Okay, never mind. I thought it went so dead quiet. I'm like, oh no, help. <laughs> We all muted ourselves to kind of cut out I got the you. background noise. Okay. Then you'll be able to see the poster, Bonnie. We've all had a preview of it last month. Okay, so let's see. Uh, right now it says um, it's disabled for screen sharing. I don't know if the whoever's hosting the meeting has the the doc like the the PDFs of it, but right now I can't share screen. I think that's okay. You if you could send it to the committee, I mean just attach it as a PDF and send it to the committee. Uh, we saw it last month. We picked the lighter colored one, right? Is that the one you went with? The brighter. Um, I, uh, I just did um, several versions, and, like all with the same information, but right. I, um, I wasn't sure which one uh, you decided on. So I just did all of them, like, uh, like four, but including the lighter one. Thank you. I'm sure yeah. that'll be wonderful. And we can use uh, different ones, maybe at different times of the month to grab people's attention. And you were yeah. able to put the dates on them? Yes. Um, I, uh, Thank you. Alex sent me the dates. He said it was October 4th to October 29th. That but, is um, true because October okay. 29th is a Friday. I think that's what we okay. said. Yeah, so I have I have that on all the flyers. Um, I sent them over to Alex, uh, and I don't know if he sent it over to you yet. I haven't seen it, but there was one change. Oh, he sent me one. There was one change. One of the posters said 35 acres on the farm, and it's really yeah. I did two. I did that change. I Great. did that change, and then um I did the added date. Great. Okay. Thank you both so much. Can you also add me to the um, list? Because I don't know if you send it to Gary, it's going to come over to me. So I'll spell it. It's B-O-N-N-I-E dot Therian, T-H-E-R-R-I-E-N at weathersfieldct.gov. Thank you, guys. Great. I will do the same thing. I will send anything I get now, Bonnie, to you. Just add you to the to the email list. All right, is there anything else for the University of Hartford? Um, uh, you can tell both Chaz and Alex and anyone else that you speak to that I, I let Bonnie know that you are going to be presenting at the end of your semester and that it's important that she um, schedule you at that first December meeting before your exams and other obligations kick in. So you can let your team know that that's the kind of the date. It's usually, Bonnie, you can correct me here. Is it the first Monday? Yes, of the month? so it's the first Monday of the month at seven o'clock here at Council Chambers. Okay, so that will be December 6th. So uh, yes. December 6th will be the University of Hartford presentation with all the final, final deliverables. Um, Esteban, how do you feel the, the tallying of the survey will go? Will you do it uh, all at once or will you do it as the surveys come in? Um, it would be, have to be done all at once. So after October 31st, it's better for the data to 
um, be calculated all at once. So it'll be done. We'll be analyzing in the month of November um, okay. for that December date. And, oh, it's for December. We won't know at the November meeting? Oh, no, no. Oh, um, so with that, it depends how much data we get and which analysis we do. It won't, it, and also with, we tie in with our school work and all other assignments. Um, but we will start analyzing one stack to what the first um, date ends. And then, you know, first of November, we'll start analyzing it. Um, as of right now, I can't really give you a solid date as to how much it takes. Okay. And then you're able to see if people are sending multiple surveys from the same IP address. There's a way to kind of, we were concerned about that. And you, you took that into account when choosing Microsoft Forms? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, good. It's good that people know. All right. Is there anything else for the U of H team? Even though there's only two, there are two really important people this month. Yeah, I agree, Pam. Thank you guys so much. The survey looks professional. The, the, the posters, Kim, are beautiful and I'm sure are gonna capture people's attention. And we're hoping for a, you know, a, a, big, a big number of people responding to this. Excellent. Anything else? And if you guys need help from me, then just uh, let me know, email me, and then I'll hook you up, uh, Esteban or whoever, with our IT to get it on that website. And then Bonnie, once you get the PDF, will you print your own surveys? You don't need us to print those. No, them. we can handle that. Okay, good, good. And if I were to reach out to Mark DiPaolo and tell him this was happening, could I direct him to your office? Yes. Thank you. Okay, I can do that then. Perfect. All right. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. I thank don't want to you. Take any more of your time. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Yeah, great job. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. So, Bonnie, you got a little look at what wonderful help we've had over these I'll last I'll tell you, classes. I love working with the college kids. It's, it's just, uh, it, I've always had a positive experience. So, mm -hmm. I'm so glad you hooked up with them. Well, it was Gary's idea, and he had he's also a graduate, so he had a connection and a an, uh, uh, respect for the program there. So good. All right, other open business. Bonnie, I spoke to this to you before. There were a couple of things um, that Gary was going to look at last month. One of them was hosting on the town website, so you'll hear from Esteban about that. The other one was Gary reached out to Mary Dunn to ask oh. for a circuit writer allocated to us for staff to draft the application to have the barn considered for the state historic state register of historic places. So that's what what we're hoping that we will be able to continue that process through you. Um, yes, I um, uh, I didn't talk to her. I left a message and I was in meetings all afternoon. So Cheryl talked to her, my secretary, and. Uh, she said the grant application's been received, they're reviewing it, but the question is whether we're looking to actually designate the barn on the state registry, or at this point, we're only looking for a research report um, for, which includes the brief history and architectural design, and the circuit writer would do that. So which one are we looking for right now? And then she'll get it going. Okay, committee, Jim, any other thoughts? I, I mean, is it best that we look for the registration on the state? Which is the best or most advantageous for the, the barn and the possibility of, of doing things with it? I, I would think getting on the, on the state registry, it, 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 as we heard, it doesn't have any disadvantages, I don't think. I mean, the circuit writer would be great, but that seems like another step if we wanted to go to the state registry anyway. Right, okay. Uh, Makes sense to go straight there. Hi, Bonnie, by the way. I know, I was going to interrupt and go, hi, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. And Dan, have you had any experience with that too? In grants oh. or anything? Or Well, no, this one's a little bit different. Um, I agree with Jim. The only thing we were you know, concerned about as a committee was to make sure that if it was determined that the barn was in decrepit condition, if we designate it as this are we going to have any issues if it the recommendation is to kind of raise it so i just want to make sure we have our options open that if it's designated that and it's in decrepit conditions not worth keeping then we have that option i think well, that, it, the, that was made very clear at the town council meeting when they first gave us permission for this maria said you can tear this barn down you're not obligated mm -hmm. in any way to do anything with this oh. barn with this designation 
And so I think that's the reason we got the vote to move forward with it. Yeah, so that point I agree with Jim. As long as we have that option, not that we want to do that at all. Right. Um, you know, if it if it does turn out that way, then it, uh, it does, but we should at least have that option. All right, so Bonnie, can you move forward with that information? Yes. Yep, I can. Wonderful. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> thank you. All right, was there anything else under old business? I looked through the minutes and I didn't see anything else. If Bonnie takes care of the, oh, I know. Gary was going to look, the, I heard Esteban talk a few times about the website they're creating. We don't have a way to host that website. This committee has, is a, you know, a committee of volunteers with no funding. Um, is there a way to host the website for the Keisha Farm Committee on the town website? I don't know. I got to talk to Derek okay. um, and find out what that would entail. Um, I mean, they, they got a lot on their platter up there, but I'll find out and then the I'll let everybody is, know. They said that they could do it for $15 a month. If you would prefer to do that, it's three months. So it would be $45. You mean through U of H? Yes. Oh, well, all right. I'll talk to Derek first, but that might be the simpler way. Absolutely. For 45, I, I mean, it's only... October, November, and December. And then after that, you can, you or whoever can make a decision whether they want to continue to host the website. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Bonnie. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else from the minutes or that we had as open business? All right. For new business, the only thing I wanted to, to bring up, and Mary put this in the minutes, the Weathersfield Education. Oh, hi, Jenna. The Weathersfield Education Foundation was going hosting a this little kids fair, um, and it was September 25th. And if you drove by the Keisha Farm, you got to see potential. It was really the one of those perfect fall mornings with a blue sky. And um, Kathy Bagley worked her magic, and she knew an artist, Joanne Huffman. And Joanne Huffman went and painted sunflowers on the plywood that's covering the lower barn windows. And uh, Joel Wagner brought some of his old equipment over there and set up an amphitheater. And they had a bookmobile and they had authors reading books and they did, the PTOs did little uh, informational tables and it was incredibly well attended. So it was, it, was a, it was a morning that gave you thoughts of possibilities and also reminded everybody that traffic needs to have a solution because that's very real. So anything, you know, any, anyone who brings that up is bringing it up legitimately. Yeah, Between I mean, games that were taking place on the field and the little fair and just people moving. Yeah, I drove by as well and I was gonna stop. But Cindy's right, it was, there was no parking anywhere. So I just, I saw, said hi to Anthony Dignati, talked to him for a second because the fire truck was there too. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, I'm not going to park here. It's just chaotic. But it was incredibly well attended. When I looked, I said, because Kathy and I had talked during the week and she was saying, oh, maybe we'll get 100 people. And I think there was like 150 people just there when I just drove by that, you know, for five minutes. So it was incredibly good for a first uh, you know, go around. It was just, it was charming. That's all I can say. It just gave people a, a moment to think, wow, I'm in Wethersfield. I didn't have to go to Glastonbury for this. I'm, I'm right here in my own community. There were over a hundred families that paid to go in. It was, and they, it was $5 a family. They deliberately kept it very, very, you know, small and low key. So it was nice. It was right. Um, the soccer game crowd too, I think mm -hmm. helped. But to that end, I, I mean, I think I loved it. It was really, really perfect. Um, but the traffic was, I think we have to, you know, whatever gets planned there, we got to figure that one out. <laughs> well, it's, it, it, they're redoing the whole plan for Highcrest School. And so hopefully that gave people, the Highcrest principal was there. So people saw the situation and hopefully yeah. they'll take it into account. You know, yep. Yep. Parking. Okay. All right, Bonnie, I don't know if it's too early to ask you, did we get any correspondence? <laughs> Not that I know of, but then I don't know much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're hitting is, the ground running. Yeah, this is day two, so. <laughs> Believe me. All right, any other business to come before the committee? What do you think we should think about doing? We have November 
and then a big December meeting where the, I mean, this could potentially be almost the end for our committee. We've, we've done everything that consultants said they would do and the survey yeah. was the last thing. Pam, yeah, I've got some ideas. I, well, you know, I just had a question. Oh yeah, well, I have an opportunity to unmic without my little beautiful grandson having too much fun back here. Um, <laughs> What, what happens if this is it is the survey monkey is everything going to stop on October 30th what do we decide to do about stragglers or people who come in later through November or is there a deadline I mean how does that work it's the real world there's a deadline <clears throat> we got October 4th to October 29th so they have the month of October and we really probably do have to get that out to people we have to kind of sure yank it then or just you know they'll, they'll end it on their end all the surveys go to them. that's right so right. they'll stop it then and then work to tabulate it. Okay. And can we attend the December meeting at the town council or not? Oh, absolutely. It's public. Oh, wonderful. Yep. Well, I actually think we maybe, maybe that's one of our agenda items for November. I mean, you know, people worked on different aspects of this. People have expertise in different things. It, it, the town council might like to hear from us too. I mean, essentially, we functioned as, you know, a free consulting group <laughs> with a lot of help. In, so, yeah. in it, so the University of Hartford group is going to prepare their presentation to the town council, right? Mm -hmm. And do we, I think we were trying to do that last year. And did we have any input on that, like reviewing it? I, can't, I think we did, maybe. I don't know. Last Just year, they only made their presentation to us. Right, that's right. They never made it to the town council. I mean, because no. it didn't include the survey. There were some points raised that it was really incomplete. But by December, every single thing that we could, we had that document from the consultant. We tried to mirror every single thing they did in that document. So the survey is really the last piece. And so our capacity or role is really to just let them deliver it, right? I mean, based on the direction we gave them. So we don't have to, I don't know. I just was curious whether we would be responsible for having to review it or anything. You mean I the results? I would like to see it before it goes to the town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. So okay. would, we, would they have like a dress presentation to us? Uh, rehearsal presentation to us beforehand, maybe? I don't know if they'd have it ready, though, right, Cindy, for the your first meeting in uh, November? Yeah, that's yeah, we had a special meeting. Right, it couldn't be in the meeting. It would have to be a special meeting, right? Right, right. And we have done that before. They had We had to have a special meeting for the first presentation because they had to leave. Their semester ended, and they needed to meet with us mid-May because the semester was over. So we might be able to do the same thing, just hear the presentation before it goes to the town council. That's a smart move because you never know what people are going to say, so... <laughs> I know. These kids are very responsible and they actually laid out all their deliverables too. So we know what's coming, but the hearing it is definitely advisable. Right. And then you can discuss what you want to do with the council meeting too. Okay. So keep that in mind. We may need a, no, uh, a different November meeting. Um, we can meet on the first of the first Monday anyway, because that's our regularly scheduled meeting. Then maybe they'll have something for us, maybe they won't, or maybe they'll have some of the other information. And then maybe that later that month, just prior to the December meeting. We can talk about that at the next meeting. All right, good idea, Mary. All right, so that is it. Next meeting is um, Monday, November 1st. Cindy, I was just wondering, you know, if, if I'm not sure if it's a bad idea, but, um, or good, that maybe some kind of historical perspective, how this group came together, what our role was, you know, a little history on how we met and did this and, you know, whatever you wanna say. I mean, I, I don't know if um, we were just talking about what we did in preparation to get the survey off the ground and, well, oh, it's taken us months just to get to this place in the pandemic, you know? Yeah, it really has. And none of us, none of these are our ideas. They were all from the visioning sessions and, and the tours. And I mean, they need to know that this was not us and this is how it came to be. They're gonna see the pie chart and all the input and then they're gonna have the results of the survey monkey, which, you know, 
right? But I don't know if everybody knows 100%. People are invited on these calls, but a lot of people don't come on. No, I <laughs> remind everybody, yeah, because the public watches too. Right, right. I would, I think that's a great idea, Pam, because I think people get confused. They think we're making the decisions. And, and even as much as we say it, we, you know, we need to say it again, especially before the presentation that, you know, we facilitated the, you know, getting the input. Uh, and, and just and like we've done it, just like we've done everything, how we've yeah. reviewed what they voted on and the outcome of the vote. Right. And that, you know, I mean, from the very beginning, go forward. Yep. It's not a, it's, it's not a long story, but I think it would be more thorough. Maybe that would be something we could all talk about in a meeting before this happens. You know, just a thought. No, I think you're right. That was our charge from day one was to facilitate a public conversation, not to think of ourselves as being in any position to decide what's going on. So, all right, maybe that's in November too, coming up with our own narrative, like writing our own story. <laughs> all right. Um, I don't think there's any public comment. Is there any? Um, just one other quick uh, question. Um, we've decided to allow boards and commissions to decide if they want to meet in public. Um, meaning that um, we won't do a Zoom, you would come into the town hall, but that's up to each group. So it's up to you whether you wanna do that. We will make sure, like if, if we wanted to meet, um, we'd probably do council chambers if it's not booked and just socially distance and uh, mass, but that's up to you guys. If you wanna keep doing Zoom, that works too. It'd be nice to have a final in-person meeting. Jan uh, November? Yeah, that would be, if it's gonna be our sort of our last meeting, it and would be fun to- meeting would have to be Zoom. So that one, we have to Zoom with them, but maybe November yeah. we should yeah. meet. Um, Jenna, weigh in and Tara, because you guys have young children. I don't know how you feel about that, so. I'm all right meeting in person. That would be nice to see everybody. Okay. I'd love to meet in person. For us personally, it's like, it's a scheduled juggling thing, but we can make it work. Okay. All right, so Bonnie, we will meet in person then in November. The November regular meeting? Yeah. Okay, then uh, I'll let you know where. Um, I'll have Cheryl work on that. And Bonnie, if I can answer any questions for you, if you need me to pop into town hall or you want to email me or anything, I mean, there should be minutes somewhere in a folder. I'll no, ask, yeah. But don't, yeah. hey, don't worry, uh, Cindy, I have your number. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, everybody, I feel such a sense of accomplishment. I mean, getting to that point, getting to that survey, I mean, they did such an incredible job about it. Uh, I'll look forward to seeing it. Really, just text going back and forth, and they were so precise in everything they were doing. Their advisors were weighing in on it. Jim, great pickup on that question that, that, you, that you noticed that there should be maybe all of the above on, on it, so thank you. Probably wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't taken it, even though I wasn't really supposed to. So <laughs> there you go. See, sometimes not following the rules really works out. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. If there's no other business, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Right, Pam. So All right. How about a second? Motion. Second. Simply in the meeting. All right. Second by Jim, Mary. Okay. All right, Bonnie, thank you for just jumping on board. Great to see everybody. Right. Good to see okay. you, Jim and Cindy. Bye. 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 Thank you. Cindy, see you.